time for the uh, weather forecast now with Louise Lear. Hello there. If you want me to hit the nail on the head, cloudy is the best description for the weather. Breezy and there will be some rain around at times as well. It certainly looks as though we're going to continue to see a fair amount of cloud around across the country with some patchy outbreaks of rain. It looks as though it's going to be rather grey. Well, let's um, just see if we can uh, sort that out, whatever problem we're having with Louise Lear's microphone. Clearly, it's not uh, sounding quite as it should, and we can't hear what she's got to say. So uh, let's try again. We think we might have it sorted out. Louise, have another go. Don't you just love it when it all goes according to plan? That's why we love live weathers. <laughs> Cloudy was what I was saying before my microphone decided to shut me up early on. Uh, a lot of cloud around, a lot of uh, drizzle as well. So let's take a look at the headline in some more detail. Breezy with some rain around. The breeze will sit up across the far north and west throughout the day with some patchy outbreaks of rain slowly but surely making its way across the west-facing coast. Not too cold a night, though. Temperatures holding up above freezing. We're looking around 3 to 6 degrees. Now we start off tomorrow morning then on this rather grey note but there will be some outbreaks of rain continuing to drift further inland. To the east of the Pennines slightly brighter, to the west it stays grey, damp and a breezy first thing in the morning. East Anglia, the southeast corner, sitting at around 6 degrees at 8 o'clock. That cloud continues to extend along the south coast. If you're lucky you might just get a few uh, pockets of brightness perhaps is the best description but for West Wales, can't cross Cardigan Bay, grey, damp and breezy with it, brighter further inland. Now for Northern Ireland it's a breezy start to your morning and yes there'll be some outbreaks of light rain as well. That rain extends through Northern Ireland across into Western Scotland. Sheltered eastern areas should start off rather dry but eventually we'll see more in the way of rain. So that's how we continue through Tuesday morning. The rest of the day sees very subtle changes really. That cloud and rain will drift south and east into the Midlands by the middle of the afternoon. In terms of the feel of things, temperatures will register about the average for the time of year and that's between around 7 and 9 degrees. Add on the strength of the wind in, and it may feel a little cooler than that but that's our daytime maximum. We'll see some more persistent rain arriving through the night, particularly in that southeast corner. The reason why, well, there's an area of low pressure drifting down through the North Sea. That'll bring some extensive rain, which will tend to linger there by dawn on Wednesday morning. And also something that's noticeable to point out is that behind it, we drag in this northeasterly wind as well. The rain eases away, the breeze more of a feature, and that's when we start to make it feel noticeably colder. So temperatures struggling on Wednesday, five to six degrees, but if anything, they're going to get colder still. The winds will ease a touch on Thursday, slowly but surely down to the south, but the temperature's really struggling. At best, we're looking at around three or four degrees, but generally on those exposed east coasts, only a couple of degrees above freezing. So getting colder, but a greater chance of seeing some sunshine perhaps at the end of the week. That's it. Take care.